Hi and welcome to another Tab of the Scars Emporium YouTube video. Today I want to look at this. This was putting some pattern bars in a little dish that turned out way funkier than I had planned. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I made this little dish. So we have these two pieces of glass. Now I want to put them together and fuse it, but I need to cut um, a line out the middle to put the, the pattern bars in. So I'm just going to put them together, make sure one's up and one's down. Um, the top one's slightly bigger, but that's fine because it will wrap around the bottom one, which is good. And I'm just using the T to make sure I've got a straight line. Um, Um, I want to definitely make sure that it's three, it's not in half. I want a small piece on one side and much bigger area of the dish on the other. So I'm going to cut it there. Got my cutter. Make sure you're wearing glasses when you're cutting glass. Protect your eyes. And then just break the most pieces like that. So then I've got one piece like that and one piece like that. And then the pattern bars are going to go in the middle like so. So you can see the pattern bars can go in like this and then I've got some gaps. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a Sharpie and mark out the gaps with this is some come scrap from the edge and just fill those in um, with this. Now, um, we've cut these on a tile saw. You will probably want to put some clear. I'm going to grind them because I actually don't have any um, clear 96 for it. But if you do, just put some clear 96 for it. It will bring up the pattern bars um, better. So I'm going to cut these little pieces out and get it all on a, um, on a kiln shelf. It's good to kind of use a straight line top and bottom to make sure the whole thing is straight. Um, and then it will go on the full fuse, but I'll show you how it looks before it goes in the kiln. So here is it in the kiln. We've dammed it. So damming it will keep it square and neat, which is kind of what I want to look, have the, um, the effect I want for this platter. Um, so it's going to go in the kiln now like this. Um, we filled in the edges with extra bits of scrap and we can see how it looks when it comes out. So here is this out of the kiln. So we didn't have enough glass here and it's pulled up. I don't mind that. Interesting, when you get pieces like this out, you can flip them and look at the other side, and I prefer this side. So we'll slump it this way out. I've cold worked the edges a bit. I'm gonna work, work them a bit more, and I quite often miter the corner. So that's going on a grinder like this, and mitering the corners, just to, um, I don't know whether you see the, the edges because of the tile saw or because of um, whatever reason, they're a bit sort of, um, toothy is the only word. You can sort of see kind of bits in it and by over the 400 grit, you can take that off. <coughs> and you can do that um, with a hand um, one. You don't have to do that or with a hand pad if you don't have a grinder. Um, so we'll do that uh, and then it can go in the kiln to be slumped. So here is this. I'm using a round mould. I quite like using round moulds for square things. So I'm just going to put this in the kiln like this and we'll see how it is when it comes out. So here it is out of the kiln. Now it's serendipitously slumped beautifully where it's got kind of slumped longer on this side and shorter on this side, giving it this incredibly elegant shape. Now during the slump, the, the holes have opened up more, but I love it. It's a kind of completely funky, cool piece. And I love the fact that you've got the black line running down it and then you've got the uh, pattern on the other side too. Works incredibly well. Um, so I'm really pleased with this piece. I'm so glad how it came out and I'm so glad to do something with 96. So you know guys, I don't use a lot of 96, um, but it's great to try it once in a while. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember all our pattern bars are available on the website, tabithasglassemporium.com. You can get them in 96, we have some in 90 as well. So go there and check them out. Please subscribe to our newsletter, turn on likes to the video, turn on notifications, come see us again soon and we'll see you next time.